Your right to free speech should be here for all of us. You can say what you want to say, but there are consequences. And in my game, I'm going to tell you right now, you shut the hell up. When police officers and you encounter, there's no right. You have a right to talk, but you shouldn't. There are times when you shouldn't. And the Fourth Amendment is going to teach us this, because the Fourth Amendment of our Constitution was the right to be free from unreasonable searches and seizures in our homes, our cars, our person, and our things. Probation or parole is a waiver of this right. If you're on probation parole, you no longer have this right, and the wording is, a police officer may search you day or night with or without a warrant. The key is reasonableness. Now, reasonableness can be defined upon who the individual is, because here's what's reasonable. I see a black guy, he's got dreads. Look at that car. That car is a badunk badunk car. Look at that. I bet you, you know what? He's got a gun in it. If not a gun, he's got dope in it. He's probably doing something wrong. He's on probation or parole. Is it reasonable for me to think that way? It can be if I'm an officer who's in charge with enforcing the law and I feel that, hey, that's a reasonable conclusion for me to draw. And if it is, I'll pull him over. Because now, the Fourth Amendment said, He's only uh, required to be free from unreasonable searches, but I just did the reasoning, and I find I'm going to pull him over. So I do. Now, what happens there is the problem. And what we see is this driving while black thing. That's how that came up, where you didn't need any more than that. So the Fifth Amendment then kicks in. What does that give us the right to do? Remain silent, not incriminate yourself? An attorney. Understand. This right is probably the most important right that you have, and it's the right to shut the hell up. Adults versus children. Guess what? If you're a child, if you're a minor, do not ask for your mama. Your mama will not come. You ask for a lawyer. You can see over and over again, and I gotta skip false confessions, I gotta go to the six. But you will see over and over again children being manipulated by officers because it's great policy to lie to people. And you can lie to children. It's OK. In fact, you know what? It's an honored police practice. So the Sixth Amendment, you got a right to a lawyer. Gideon told us that. The case of Gideon was an individual who was charged in the 60s. and. We said after Gideon, if you're charged with felony or misdemeanor, you're going to have a lawyer. The problem is it may be a public defender and someone you don't know. But you do have a right to a lawyer. So here is the exercise. Here it is, the power of consent. Do you understand that every encounter with police officers would be consensual unless you determine what are the parameters of that encounter? Don't believe these television shows and these movies. When you say, I want a lawyer, the officer must stop interrogating, stop what they're doing. And here's how it works on a traffic stop. Cop pulls you over. I'm not saying anything. You know why? Because I don't have to right then. Now that First Amendment's kicking in, I think I'm going to shut the hell up, though. Because most of the time, the problem is this. What you pull me over for? Why are you messing with me? Is it because I'm if there's something going on, they're going to tell you. So you wait. The officer says something to you. The first thing, am I free to go? And the officer, hell no, I got you at gunpoint. What are you talking about? <laughs> then I want my lawyer. Now, you know what the officers have to do? They got to huddle up. All right, huddle up. Did he do anything wrong? I don't know. Did he? I don't know. He just ex he exercised his rights. I don't know. Can we search? I don't know. We don't have probable cause. He didn't say anything. He didn't argue with us. I can't shoot him. <laughs> they got to huddle up. They got to figure out, well, what went on? Because that's where you leave that conversation. The only thing you have to do is name, rank, serial number. That's it. Give them your ID. But you shut the hell up. Because whatever is going to happen is going to happen. If they've got probable cause to arrest you, they're going to do it whether you said something or not. The only reason they want you to talk is to admit to a crime. That's it. You're not offending the cop. In fact, the cop would be like, God damn, you're smart. Whoa, who taught you your rights? Because most of the time, stupid people will be just telling me anything. 
I didn't do it. Billy did it, though. <laughs> Shut the hell up. Be All you should say is, I want my lawyer. And you know what? If they don't listen to you, you say it again. I want my lawyer. Say it in a different tone. I want my lawyer. <laughs> you know what I want? I want my lawyer. <laughs> Play with them. Because here's the point. You don't fight your battle, your legal battle, on the street corner. You don't fight it in the interrogation room. You fight it when you get your lawyer, and your lawyer looks at everything and says, they had no cause to stop you. Hmm. So that cocaine in your pocket, the illegal gun, the body in your trunk, they got to suppress it. Can't use it against you. Now, people always say, well, damn it, Keith, why are you telling people how to commit crimes? and get away with it. I'm not telling you anything. I'm ex I am teaching you your rights under the Constitution that it belongs to everybody. So you either be safe, live, or you fool around and maybe you die. So you'd make that choice. Because a right will lie dormant until you exercise it. <laughs>